Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back. Let us talk about the institution of prophethood. This is one of those few institutions that God Almighty himself created. That institution means that Prophet Muhammad did not create a new religion that we call Islam. That institution means that Islam was not born in the 7th century. That institution means that there is an organic link between all those who brought the divine message to human beings and the message that we call the last message which is Islam. That message was not to establish the superiority of one community or one ethnicity or even one religious group over the other. That institution meant that all human beings should have access to that eternal fountain of knowledge that we call the divinely guided knowledge so that they could make and remake and shape and reshape their lives accordingly. Human beings are impacted with everything that happens around them. And human beings have to find their way out of all these kind of ideas and all these kind of situations that prevail around them. And most of the time they act on the basis of their impulses or they act on the basis of their own historical experiences or the experiences of the others or on the conditions that are prevailing in their times. But God Almighty is saying that there is certain basic ideas that should provide clear and open guidance to everyone so that they could see their purpose in this life and act on the basis of that purpose and act on the basis of that role that God intends them to have in the temporary life that they have in this world. So the institution of prophethood is in fact a universal institution. Even though the prophets may have been sent to a specific community, speaking a spe specific language, to a smaller community or to a larger community, but in essence they were repeating what God had already given to the people who came prior to them. Because as we are told in the scripture of Islam or a scripture of the divine guidance that there has never been a community that has been devoid of that message given to them by the messengers. So one must understand that all messengers, 25 of them have been mentioned in the Quran and many others whose names have not been mentioned were the one who were chosen by God based on his analysis and his perception of the role that individual has plays, played in the society and would play in the society and in the community. That that choice, the divine choice of the individual who would play the role of the messenger of God, 
was simply and purely a divine act. He did not consult anyone and he did not ask anyone's opinions on that. He chose whom he thought would be the perfect person to deliver that message to human beings. Who would ensure that the message that he is sharing to humanity through these messengers would be relayed to them in its original form without any contamination and without any change. And in that particular respect, the Quran asserts that all the messengers of God, all those who were chosen to relay the message, relayed it accurately in its original form without any change, without any bias and without any kind of contamination. So the institution of prophethood ensures that all the messages that were given to humanity were in their purest form. Some of the messengers could not preserve that message in their lifetime because of the prevailing conditions. Their followers tried to rewrite that message in their own words, with their own understanding, according to their own memory and according to their own perceptions. And hence there was a need that the message that may have been changed or may have been edited is repeated time and time again until the final messenger who puts it in writing and who puts it into the memory of people in his own lifetime. So the institution of prophethood guarantees that the message remains the same. And it ensures that it evolves from a local or localized message into a universal message. Even though the contents of the message have remained the same, yet the scope of that message was local in certain circumstances, was regional in certain circumstances, but was universal when it came to the message that was delivered finally by Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That message is in Arabic in its original form. So that institution of marriage, of, 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 of prophethood, is indeed the divinely created institution to ensure that the message is relayed properly. Imagine how difficult is the task of a prophet or a messenger. Because if in our word today anyone stands up and claims that he is receiving a message from God, we would have a skeptical attitude towards that individual. It would be very hard for us to believe that such a thing do exists. And that's why what happened is that the God Almighty started with the smaller communities so that the institution starts taking roots within the psyche and within the conceptual framework of human beings. And, un and then slowly and gradually that scope keeps in increasing until the time came when the people had full belief in that institution and then when people had that kind of belief in the existence of that in institution then the message came for the entire humanity so that the humanity could again come back to the original message and focus on uh, understanding and comprehending it, that message to govern their own lives
hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel.